Do you want to access another computer totally for free using Google Chrome Remote Desktop? In this quick video, I will show you how to set up Chrome Remote Desktop in a simplest and easy way. First thing is, you have to make sure you have Google Chrome installed into your laptop or computer and you are logged in with your Gmail account. Just go to this profile icon and sign in to Google Chrome. If you are already logged in, you can skip this step. Okay, once you are logged in with your Gmail account into your Google Chrome browser, go ahead, remote desktop.google.com slash access and press enter. Now here you will see set up remote access. Set up this computer to be remotely accessed from another device. To get started, click the download button. Let's go ahead and download Google Chrome remote desktop extension. Just go ahead and click on add to chrome this will add remote desktop extension to your google chrome browser under your logged in profile once downloaded it's ready to install click on accept and install here i got the extension let me double click on it and it will take few seconds to install this little extension here we have to enter the name of our computer let's enter itpkrdp click next here you have to enter the pin this pin is needed while connecting to this computer so enter it two time and this should be at least six numbers let's click on start if it's asked for any permission just go ahead and allow it now ITPK RDP computer is showing online here. Let's go to the host computer and we will connect to this computer via Chrome Remote Desktop. On the host computer, again, make sure you are logged in with the same Gmail account. Just go ahead and type remote desktop.google.com slash access. Press enter. Now here you could see that the computer we have added the extension is showing online and we have set up the name ITPK RDP. Let's click on it and now it's connecting. Here it's asking to enter the pin that we have set up on our remote computer. I have entered the pin. If I want to remember my pin on this device for every time, I will select this option and click on this go button. I don't want to save the password for now. And here you go. I got connected to my remote computer in few seconds.